coming to you live from Farmer Dave's World Headquarters here in Drake, Massachusetts. I'm Cassie. And I'm Stacy. And we're here to help you prepare your share. Ditch the pots, it's time for tots. Once this technique is down, you'll be able to substitute a variety of vegetables found in your CSA share at farmer's markets and at farm stands throughout the season. As we go through the recipe, we'll give you tips and suggestions so you know what to look for as you're preparing the tots. The recipe is super simple and you'll be able to make the adjustment depending on the type of vegetable you're using. Tools you'll need. Non-stick mini muffin tins. Look honey, another use for a mini muffin tin. The tin allows you to quickly make the tots and it provides a contained space, so if the kids want to help, it's the perfect recipe to involve them in. We're going to need a grater or food processor. All depends on the amount of tots you're making. Today we've used a grater. You're going to need a bowl and some tablespoons for loading the tin. Moisture is the enemy in this recipe. Too much liquid and your tots will never get crispy. Whatever the vegetable you use, you're going to pat it dry and when the ingredients are all mixed together, it should resemble wet sand. In our recipe today, we have three packed cups of carrots and turnips that have been shredded. We have a little bit more here because we're actually using two mini muffin tins. You're going to need two eggs whisked, Chinese five spice, and onion powder. We're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, about one cup, maybe a little more, and some shredded sharp cheddar cheese, about one cup. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees and spray the mini muffin tins well with cooking spray. Here you go. Now you really, really want to get them all coated on the side. The thing with this recipe is there's a lot of cheese in it and um, if it's not super coated, the cheese, well, it's really, really going to stick to it. Some little music, spraying music. We are going to have quite a few tots with this recipe, which is fantastic. Okay, there we go. If the shreds are larger, run your knife through them a couple times. These are going in a tight space. In a bowl, mix the shredded vegetables all in there, the eggs. Now we're going to mix about half of the panko in at this point. the seasonings. Let's do about a tablespoon or so. There you go. Excellent. I'll give this a quick toss. Then the shredded cheddar cheese. This is the glue. It's super important that you do have a really good amount, otherwise your tots are really gonna fall apart. And you don't want crumbly tots. Mm -mm. So give this a really good mix. You see how it's coming together with the eggs? And the cheese. So basically, what we were talking about is the wet sand. This is what the mixture should look like. So we want this really nice texture of wet sand. When you press it together, it kind of holds and it just barely starts to crumble. Add one heaping tablespoon to each opening in the tin. Only fill up about three quarters of the way and put it into bake. That way each tot bakes evenly. Now we finished filling them and they're going in to bake. We're going to start checking them at about 15 minutes. At that point they are going to be smelling pretty darn good. The edges should be getting nice and crispy and with that they'll pop out of the well in one piece. It's sure smelling good in here. Cassie, are they ready? Oh, they are. Oh mm. my goodness. They smell so good. Here we go. Now that's a top. Okay, that's really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, we're talking about this recipe being really, really versatile. Just keep in mind the vegetables supply the structure and the other ingredients become the glue. 
An alternative is using broccoli. You'll steam or blanch the fresh broccoli, dry it well, then chop it up finely. These are delicious with granulated garlic and Swiss cheese. Summer squash, zucchini, and kusa. Shred, put in a colander, season with a little salt, let the water dry out. Squeeze thoroughly with a towel. This is great with Romano cheese, Italian seasonings, or dill. Butternut squash, shred it, par cook it. This is very important, and let it dry. You want to press it out too if you want to get it to dry faster. Mm -hmm. It's great with cumin, chili powder, Monterey Jack cheese, or craisins and Monterey Jack. And then the good old shredded potato. Add finely chopped scallions, cheddar, and bacon. You got a bacon tot. We hope you'll enjoy this technique and go experiment with your mini muffin tins. And that's a wrap. 